process, the poise and polish that Dante Moore showed his first career start as a true freshman? Yeah, I thought Dante did a, exactly what we've seen since he's been here in January. You know, uh, we've talked about there's a maturity to Dante. Uh, he's not, doesn't get overwhelmed or whatever the situation is. And I thought, you know, what people saw today is what we've seen for a while from him. I mean, and, and, uh, he obviously did some really nice things for him. Where, can you talk about the decision to go with him when you made that and what went into that? We just talked about it as a staff and we was going to start. We were trying to get the other three guys in. We got Colin in, which was good for him because Colin missed some time in camp and that you can see his athleticism and what he's what he can do. Um, but I, we, we, we still feel we have three quarterbacks and we feel real good about that situation. I think it's, um, it's comforting to know that all three guys can play for you. And, um, you know, we'll see where we're headed moving forward. Wait, so you're saying that said, no, the Colin is down to the staff. Yeah, well, we, got, we just play the game. So we do everything as a staff, and we'll sit down and talk about everything we do. What gives us the opportunity to, to be successful? And, you know, and then I feel like we have three guys that are really good for poker, so that's, a, that's something that not every team can say. And you know, we'll see how this whole thing plays itself out. So. Coach, would you say you adapted to the rules? Uh, you got a lot, a lot of plays. I think uh, there were seven drives in the first half. We did. We had seven drives because we had two, three and outs. So that's not adapting to us. Uh, we had two, three and outs, and then we had a one play drop. But we ended up with 68 plays. I think last week we ended up with 60, 63. You know, so it was similar. Um, it just every game is going to express itself differently. And then we have to be able to adjust. You know, knowing where we were when we got up 25, it's really the comeback ability of the team. Because when we get up 25, it's a three-score game, and if there aren't three drives left, then they don't have an opportunity to get back in the game. So, you know, we, we were talking about going into four-minute mode a lot earlier than we normally would have gone into four-minute mode um, because of the score of the game. But then they started seven, so we started seven. Um, and we, we had to adjust that one. But it's still a, a work in progress, but um, we'll see how it kind of plays itself out. But, but getting more drives by having three and outs is not, that's not, that's certainly not the plan. So. We scored four touchdowns, though. We did, we did, you know, and in, 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 um, in like a minute I, per drive. Yeah, and that's not, you know, there's, you always want to finish your drives with touchdowns. So if you could have scored six touchdowns, then I would be a lot more happier in the situation. So there's always things you can do to improve, and you're never going to be able to get them until you can get in the game situations. We don't play preseason games, um, and we all know that. And so really in the beginning of the year, there's a lot of different situations that come up that you're going to have to be able to coach, and now that you see them, you can do it. So. Back-to-back -back things with one play drives. What does that big play potential do to drive the offense? Uh, you know, it's just guys making plays, and so it's really happy. We thought if we could get one coverage, we had a shot, and, and Josiah can run. Uh, that's a little bit of a good thing. You know, we took advantage of it, and that's something uh, that, that presents itself. You know, it's kind of how we practice it. Oh, James! So we hit it. So I'm uh, really happy for Joe. Uh, Joe Sai has been here for a long time. Uh, you know what? He, he always has a knack for making plays, and, uh, and he did a, a real critical time for us. What do you think of your defensive, your defense's performance? I was really pleased with them, especially the response after the one turnover that we had. You know, turned the ball over, thought it was a touchdown. They reviewed it, so the ball's on the half yard line. Um, first play, they get a tackle for loss. The second play, they stop them, and there's a fumble, and they almost recover the fumble. And then on the third play, they go big, and they're trying to get. You know, we went big, so we have all of our. Uh, we had, I think 60 linemen in the game at the same time, and then they break out and go wide and try to you know, get a quick screen on us, but I thought our defense responded. Uh, and that's what we talk about. You know, there's going to be adversity that's going to hit every game. Um, and competitors respond, and that's what we're proud of, is that you know, our, our, our guys really responded, and that was huge. You know, to come up with a turnover in that situation was, you know, like, you talk about, you, they went on the field with the ball in the half yard line. He came, came back with the ball. You know, so really happy and pleased with, with how those guys are, are growing on a, on a weekly basis. So, how fast some of those drives were with your defense on the field for a while? Does that, does that become a concern with how much time was going No, the play? defense's job is to get them off the field. So, I, don't think it, I, can't, I can't tell Josiah to take a knee after he catches the ball. So, I know that comes up and people ask that question, but I, I, don't, know, I don't know anybody that when you have a chance to make a big play is going to say, we don't want to make a big play because that puts our defense on the field. And I think when our defense play, we're going to play tonight. Um, you know, they, 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 they're a bunch of competitors that want to be on the field. No one wants to say, hey, come to our place and, and we're going to win the time of possession and have the ball for 40 minutes and you get to play 13 snaps a game. Like, I don't want any that wants to be in that situation. So our guys want to play, they get excited, and, and when they get a chance to play, they respond. Are you surprised that this game is like this? I 
didn't think this game was easy. I checked my heart rate. I checked my heart rate. <laughs> <laughs> and people maybe from the outside, but you know, they, they were close. And I thought Alex Johnson had, had a huge third quarter for us. He put up two really good plays for us. Um, but until about three minutes to go in the game, I, mean, I, I wasn't feeling good until that time. So he's um, not normal captain. So. Do you anticipate a point where you will settle on one quarterback? Yeah, probably. Was that? I said yes, probably. Any yeah. idea? Any? Not tonight. Wait, not tonight. I can give you but that I mean, answer. Couple not weeks, tonight. Mid season. What, what, what would be an argument for not just saying it's Dante given what he did tonight? Because I thought Colin did some really good things, and I think Ethan Garbers is a really good quarterback. And I think all three of those guys can help us win football games. So that's the reason. It seems like Colin. Uh, has a different kind of package that was uh, read option and RPO in there no, that we hadn't seen. We called that for the we scored a touchdown on an RPO. First the touchdown to Josiah Norwood was the uh, same thing we ran earlier. Dante made a great read on the linebacker and threw the RPO to him. So you know that we didn't there's no extra plays that were in that we didn't call that Dante didn't have an opportunity to, to, to run and he did run them and, and execute them. So you know if they're gonna bend it and, and take the um, running back away then the quarterback has to have the ability to carry the football and he did and then we have some some throws off of that. So, um, but we didn't run any different plays um, when when uh, when Colin got in the game that we hadn't done earlier in the first half. So. When was the last time you did him? Uh, he's done, he's doing fantastic. You know, he's a he's special. He's a special player. And, you know, to be as advanced as he is at his age is it's unique. Um, and he's growing, and he'll grow from this game. You know, I think he'll he'll be the first to tell you that. What, uh, when was the last time you did a three running back uh, set like that? Last week. Oh, okay, I missed that. Yeah. Game. Uh, last, the USC game we did it. Uh, the Pitt game we did it. I think the Cal <laughs> game we did it. All right, I guess we've I'm been, the We've been running teacher. a straight T for a while, Ben. Okay. I gotta, I gotta look a little more closely, I guess. Okay. Of course. Of course. Did you see it last week? We scored on it. Ben was in there last week. So yeah. you, were, you weren't there? I was at a wedding. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you were filing that night, yeah. yeah. but we ran it against. Um, SC, we were in the T against SC when we were in a couple quarterback sweeps out of it. And, um, you know, we're starting to expand that a little bit. I think our guys are, are doing some really good things, and it was a really key play for us on a, on a critical fourth fourth and one to get that. Not only to get the first half, but to turn it into a touchdown was a really big deal. Okay. You good, guys?